Hi, Hi fellow birdies, birdies, and welcome back to another edition of Songbirds Eating Show. In today's video, we are finally doing the long awaited review of Little Debbie's brand new, well, it's been out for a few months, ice creams. Now, we've been trying to get our hand on these for quite some time, and it's like this with everybody the Walmarts kind of tend to be out, so they must be selling pretty good. So, we didn't get all of them still though, but we got most of them. So we're basically missing the Cosmic Brownies one and the Strawberry Shortcake Rolls one, but we got all the rest of them. So there are seven flavors, but we got five, so. Including two of my favorites. <laughs> and two of my favorites. <laughs> so we're gonna review all these today and see how they are. Had some of these too. Some of these, some of these, some of these, but lots you've, and lots of these. You've had everything pretty much. <laughs> The first one we're going to start with is called Nutty Bars now. And the Nutty Bars one is peanut butter ice cream swirled with chocolatey waffle cone pieces and a thick fudge swirl. So let's try it. All right, so this is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. So let's try it. Let's see. I'm trying to mm. get it. It's still pretty hard for mine. It's still kind of slightly frozen. We took it out of the freezer. Mmm. I love that peanut butter taste. I always love anything peanut butter. And a chocolate crunch is kind of like you're eating, what is it, moose tracks or fudge tracks as peanut butter flavor? Kind of reminds me, yeah. Hmm. That's really good. Now, I don't know how this actually compared to the Nutty Bars itself, but I love the crunchy waffle pieces. I love peanut butter taste. This might be good for an ASMR. Mm-hmm. Like crunchy. And it crunch. There we go. That's it. <laughs> I'm in favor of the flavor. Mm. Pun not intended. Well, <laughs> not much. Let's see. This is good. I also love the texture of this too. It's nice and creamy. I like regular ice cream. I would give this a solid eight. Eight and a half. Like. I love the peanut butter taste and chocolate swirls, waffle cone pieces, really perfect combination. Not gonna lie, I was, I was not expecting it to be this good. Mm-hmm. Well, this is definitely one of my favorites so far. It's the only one we've had so far. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I want more of that. That's a really good one. What would you rate it? I'm debating between eight and a half and nine. I definitely add this to my plate. Would I go like to a restaurant, to the store, just for this though? I would. <laughs> then you probably should raise your eight. <laughs> I think I might. So I'm gonna give this a nine. This mm -hmm. is really good. This is a really good one. Thumbs up, little Debbie. All right, this next one we're gonna try is called Oatmeal Cream Pie. Now it's vanilla cream, ice cream with soft oatmeal cookie pieces and a hint of molasses. Of course. Hmm. Let's try it. Cheers. Indeed. Let's I see some oatmeal pieces right there. You can give it a look. See ya. Yeah, okay. Mmm. That oatmeal. There's like oatmeal cream. I don't know about oatmeal, but it definitely tastes like frosting, like creamy frosting. It actually does. Like, it's got that oatmeal cream taste to it. You know what's in the middle. It's got, you know, the pieces. This is probably oatmeal cookie pieces. Reminds me of um, birthday cake, like, cake flavor, you know? This is have like, has like, hint of birthday cake flavor. Kind of weird. Do it taste like cinnamon or anything like that? Not really. Hmm. I taste too much, like, it definitely got a lot of, you know, frosting flavor. Yeah, like, this is mainly like, you're eating a oatmeal cookie with frosting. Hmm, that's not bad. And I definitely like it. I still like the one we had before this still better, the Nutty Fudge one, because of, you know, peanut butter and chocolate, but I like that one too, because like you said, it's definitely like 
a you know cookie cake flavor for this very rich very sweet like I'm not really sure what molasses tastes like so I guess that's me I'm getting confused with cinnamon molasses but I would give that like an eight but it's not bad it's definitely pretty good I would go back for that definitely for this one like the last one it's definitely getting one of my higher ratings like it's a eight and a half or nine like let's see now where I go back you know just for this one Hmm. Kind of baiting. I'm, I'll, you know, split the difference in this case. This one's getting an eight and a half. I don't think it's quite up to the other one. All right. <laughs> this next one we're going to try is sleep cake. <laughs> now, it's basically white cake ice cream with yellow cake pieces and a milk chocolate fudge swirl. So let's try it. Cheers. <laughs> Zebra time. I thought this was going to be good. Let's see. Mm-hmm. That tastes just like a vanilla birthday cake. Mm. Well, at least it does to me. It seems like where's the yellow here we go. The yellow cake piece. Yeah. And definitely makes it taste like more. It's like like you like a yellow cake with chocolate. Frosting on it, I guess, a little bit. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. I'm similar to that, you know, the actual zebra cake. Because the zebra cake is, um, you know, coated in frosting, yellow cake inside of that. Pretty similar. Yeah, for me, kind of disappointed. Yeah. Like, it's got, you know, some chocolate, but I don't really taste much of it. It's pretty much like a vanilla, you know, ice cream with like a couple things mixed in. Yeah, and plus like I think it probably would have been better had there actually been more yellow cake pieces in there. And it just really wasn't enough. Like it was more of a regular yellow cake flavor and just not enough chocolate. So I'm a bit disappointed by that as well. It's definitely not as good as actual zebra cake. So I would give that one like a six and a half. Probably. Same here, actually. Like, it's not that it's bad. Like, I'll eat it happily to put in front of me. But not end my plate. Like, there's other... I mean, basically, either of the two ice creams we had before this, I'd definitely add my plate. This one, I wouldn't. And there's no way I'm going to a restaurant just for this. No. It's decent, but... It's just really disappointing. It doesn't live up to the actual zebra cake product itself. But it's still not horrible. So the next one we're going to try is called Honey Buns. <laughs> so it's basically honey bun flavored ice cream with glazed honey bun pieces and a sweet cinnamon swirl. Now I have had honey buns before mm -hmm. and they are always really good. So let's try it. All right. Let's get started. Okay. Let's see now. So it's supposed to have honey bun pieces. Why does this look like chocolate? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, that does not look like a honey bun. Still, let's see how it tastes. Hmm. Hmm. But so, why does it look like chocolate? It doesn't taste like chocolate. I mean, she is right. This looks totally like chocolate. Doesn't that? <laughs> it does look like chocolate. Well, like a piece of fudge. It doesn't say they're supposed to be like. Um, it's like, is it cinnamon swirl? Or Donut pieces. Maybe it's the donut piece? I don't know. There's something in there that looks like chocolate. That's kind of weird, but the ice cream itself is really good. Um, this tastes flatly of honey. I am getting some good honey bun pieces. Very crunchy. Definitely crunchy. Mm-hmm. Let's see. I should put this. Definitely tastes honey. I think I taste a bit of cinnamon. And cinnamon too. Like, one person I was watching last night who actually reviewed these was like, saying we're disappointed wasn't enough cinnamon. This is perfect to me. I'm just trying to understand a chocolate piece. Like, it just looks like chocolate. 
It looks like chocolate, but it can't be chocolate. <laughs> they don't have chocolate in there. I know it's not supposed to have chocolate in there. I mean, malted barley flour? Hmm. I don't know, like, everything that's in here. This doesn't taste like what I expected necessarily, but it tastes really good. It's definitely got a nice honey sweet flavor, slight piece of cinnamon to it. And I like the honey bun pieces in there. It has like a nice, you know, texture and flavor wise too. So it's still not the best one. I still like probably like, you know, the nutty butter one um, or the oatmeal cream pie for sure. So I would have to give that like a seven, maybe. I guess definitely better than the zebra cake one. The zebra cake one is a complete disappointment. <laughs> yeah, this one, not gonna lie, this one's kind of blowing my mind. I mean, like, I'd say it's at least comparable, you know, to the, you know, whatchamacallit, the nutty butter one. Like, I'm not sure if I should downgrade it a little bit because it's not like what I expected a honey bun to taste like. But on the hand, it's really good. Like, I'm definitely giving this a nine. I have this, I like get this on purpose. All right, so the last one we're gonna do is what he wanted to do last, and this is gonna be mm -hmm. hopefully his favorite. Swiss rolls. Now, Swiss rolls is chocolatey cake ice cream with chocolate cake pieces and a swirl of whipped cream. Indeed, Ooh. usually inside the Swiss cake roll. <laughs> let's try it. So, cheers. Yes. Now let's see if this lives up to my hopes or succumbs to my ears. Mmm, that's got a really good chocolate flavor. I'm not really tasting the whipped cream though. I'm tasting the chocolate chunks as well, separate from the like chocolate ice cream. Mm. This will make a good milkshake base. When I take this, put some milk in it. Wow. I just love the rich chocolate flavor of that. Hmm. It's definitely not what I was expecting at once again. I like it. Mm hmm. But it is as good as the regular Swiss roll. But I would say that is a really good flavor of chocolate ice cream. Like, I love how, you know, fudgy the taste is, chocolate, very rich and indulgent, and, you know, the actual Swiss roll pieces in there, too. Also, had a nice one, it's got a nice texture and flavor, too, as well. I didn't really taste the whipped cream that much, at least in my opinion, but I don't know if you did, maybe. Do you taste whipped cream at all? Not really, like, yeah. the chocolate ice cream is very powerful, like a strong flavor. It might be too much of a flavor. Like you can have too much of something. Like it was very strong. It's a very rich you know, chocolate flavor, like she said. But it's too much just I mean, basically like a it's like a really good chocolate ice cream, not like a Swiss cake roll ice cream, that makes sense. Yeah. So it's like a very rich and indulgent chocolate ice cream, but it's not like something that would really mind us to like Swiss rolls. I guess. And you like, I should put this, with the, you know, you know, nutty bars, I could, you know, see it being a nutty bar. With this, if you didn't tell me it was this cake roll, <laughs> what am I thinking this would be like? Maybe it's that one of those ice creams that we got that one time. What was it? Not the, you know, fudge tracks. Not yeah, fudge some kind of that marshmallows. Moose tracks. No, yeah, like marshmallow stuff in it. What was it? Marshmallow, um, I forget now. <laughs> Rocky, oh, Rocky Road. <clears throat> Rocky Road. Because that's one that he eats sometimes when we get it from, like, Walmart. Because they don't typically have fudge tracks. Except for, like, in the, like, those little pints they saw at Walmart. So we usually get Rocky Road. And Rocky Road's got marshmallows in it. So I guess it's kind of similar to that. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of that, yeah. yeah. Like, I should put... And it's not that it's bad, necessarily. Like, I'd add it to my plate, but I'm not going there for that. No. Like, <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> so, I'm going to give this one... 
an eight. It's I fine. have to give it like a seven because I do like the chocolate taste, but it just does not live up to the expectations of a Swiss roll. Like like you said, if you hadn't told me it was like really the Swiss rolls, I would have just think I'm eating a rich chocolate ice cream. Mm -hmm. It's just there's too much chocolate involved with that. It's good, but like and I love chocolate, but like you can have a little bit too much of something. So yeah. yeah kind of a little bit disappointed by that. I think I explain. When you eat a Swiss cake roll, you love the chocolate on the outside, the chocolate frosting part. Then you like the you know, chocolate and your cake is pretty good. And then when you taste it, you have that explosion of you know, whipped cream in your mouth. <laughs> there was no whipped cream explosion here. No whipped cream in this for It was just like reason. a slight taste that kind of made you think of like marshmallow. It's not bad. I'd eat it. I'd happily put it on my plate. But I'm not going there for that. And it doesn't really execute what it's trying to do. Overall, we really enjoy these ice creams, mm -hmm. although we thought that most of them didn't quite live up to the expectations of tasting like, you know, what they're supposed to be based off of. But it was a good attempt, I think, by Little Debbie to get into the ice cream field. It's by Hudsonville Ice Cream. So, mm -hmm. you know, I did a thing a good job. Now, we, you know, didn't get the, um, strawberry one and the cosmic brownies one but hopefully one of these days we'll find them and try them but i'm glad we got to try most of them so based off number one it, the one i liked the most out of was probably either nutty bars or oatmeal cookie and what about you honey buns <laughs> you like the honey buns with the <laughs> yeah i mean it just it was really good like let me make clear if you're looking for it to taste like the actual product, you're not going to get, like, it, it, these, uh, the oatmeal cream pies don't taste necessarily like oatmeal cream pies. Same thing with the honey buns, same thing with Swiss cake rolls. But if you're looking for something, for like good ice cream, you know, high quality, at a bit of premium price, admittedly, it's not a bad option. Yeah. I will expect you to say Nutty Bars, because we both like that one. Yes, but I like the <laughs> honey buns even more. Just like your honey bun. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, guys, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed this little review of Little Debbie's ice creams. I don't know if these are limited time, but if you guys can get your hands on them, try them out. Let us know what you think about them below. We'd be really curious to find out. Yep, yep. And also, if you guys haven't done so already, be sure to... Oh, hang on. Click the blue button. No, it's red. The red? <laughs> it's red. Oh, it's pink. That's right, it's pink. Okay, click the you know, uh, red button down below to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to receive notifications, and we'll see you guys in the next video. This is Crystal. And Charles. Signing off, we love you. Bye, Bye birdies. birdies.